Hi, my name is Christian Hentele and I'm a sales engineer at Gasmet Technologies. Today I'm here to present to you our portable emissions monitoring system based on a DX4000 analyzer and our portable sampling system, the PSS. The first step in assembling the sampling system is to ensure that the sampling system filter is properly installed. The filter is simply installed by screwing it in at the front of the sampling system. It is very important to make sure that all the connections are tight, so make sure you properly fasten the filters. Then the probe filter is housed inside this metal container, also can just be screwed into place. And next, we're going to install the heated lines between our analyzer and our sampling system and between the sampling system and the sampling probe. And we'll start with the heated line between the analyzer and sampling system. And to keep the lines fastened properly, we have this uh, heated line supports. You see, it is very important that the lines don't flap around when doing measurements. Insulate the connection with the supplied foam insulation rings. And next we attach the other end to our sampling system. The heated line from the analyzer should be connected to the sample out port of the portable sampling system. And it is fastened the same way as the analyzer line. And next we're going to attach the longer heated line between the portable sampling system and the sampling probe, which we will connect to the sample in connection on the sampling system. And then we connect the power to the power ports in the sampling system. And finally, we'll attach the other end of the longer heated line to our sampling probe by attaching the long heated line to the filter housing in the probe through a small heat bridge to avoid any cold spots and condensation. And finally, we'll insert the filter in the heating jacket of the portable probe. Everything is secured by this bolt that is screwed on at the end. The final thing to do is to connect the power cables and the control cable between the analyzer and the portable sampling unit. Heated lines, power supply is connected to the portable sampling system with the corresponding line in to the line in power port. The portable sampling system is controlled through the analyzer with a control cable. We'll attach this between the analyzer and the sampling system. And finally, plug in the portable sampling probe. So the next step is to plug in the power cords, get the system heating up. We turn on the sampling system from the power button at the front and see that everything turns on and the temperature controllers start reading the temperature of the lines. And finally, we turn on the analyzer at the button at the front. Every part of the system has to be heated up to 180 degrees before we can start measurements. But we don't have to guess. We have the temperature controllers showing the temperature. We'll simply follow the temperature until it's heated up and then we know we're ready to go. Now we have our system heated up to temperature 180 degrees. We can check this by checking the temperatures on the temperature controllers and checking the hardware status of our analyzer. The last thing we need to perform before we can start the measurement is performing a zero calibration. And I've connected my nitrogen bottle to the zero gas inlet on the portable sampling system. So first, we will start, open up the nitrogen bottle to make sure that we have a flow going through the system. And then all we need to do is wait for the system to flush out all the air and then click measure background in Calcomet and Calcomet will perform the background calibration for you. Flushing the system typically takes about three minutes before it's ready to start the background measurement. Calcmet will typically have set up a flushing time so that you won't make a mistake. Once the background measurement is complete, we can check on the screen that the background is like we want it. 
and if everything looks good, we move on to calibrating the oxygen sensor. We can start up the pump in manual use by clicking the button on the side, which will allow the pump to start up if all the parts are heated up. This will cut off the nitrogen flow to the through the system and pump fresh air to, uh, through the sampling system and the analyzer. As we are now measuring ambient air, this is what we need to have running to the system when we calibrate the oxygen sensor. So all that's needed to calibrate the oxygen sensor is to allow, have the pump running, make sure that you have ambient air in the system, and then we press the oxygen sensor calibration button on the side of the sampling unit. You hold the button down for five seconds until the blinking green light stops, at which point you can release the button and the sensor will be calibrated. Now the oxygen sensor is calibrated, we can switch the pump back to automatic mode, which means that it will be controlled through our CalcMet software. And then we simply start a continuous measurement from software, which will automatically activate the pump and start recording measurement data. We are ready to start our measurements. Everything is set up as we want it. So thank you for watching.